Good morning world. It is another snowy, slushy, cold day here in England. We have just left my mum's house and we are making our way now over to Jay's mum to pick her up and to meet up with Cam and Michelle and baby Leone to go on our little forest trip, our little cabin mm. in the woods. <laughs> Hopefully it's nice and snowy there actually. Yeah, well, it's snowing right now, so chances are it will be snowy, a little snowy getaway. For some reason, leaving my mum's house this morning felt more stressful than leaving Portugal and driving across three countries. <laughs> I feel like we've got more stuff already. I don't know what's happened. Anyway, we are all packed in. <laughs> It is nap time as well, so Story's going to sleep on her way to Papa's house, hopefully. Eden's here, <laughs> we're all back in the car for another day of driving. <laughs> the snow from yesterday has pretty much been destroyed by rain, but now it's just all slushy out there and it is snowing again now. The snow today isn't settling on the floor because it's very wet out there, so the roads are actually better than they were yesterday because yesterday it was like driving on pure snow wasn't it yeah. okay we've just arrived at jay's mum's someone's been busy building snowmen <laughs> look who we've got <laughs> <Papa! laughs> stories entertaining in the back there they're having a little chat and we are on the road again we are off we haven't actually said where we're going i don't think have we not properly no so we are now on route to the forest of Dean which is in Gloucestershire it's about two and a half hours drive we're going to stay in a cabin in the forest with a hot tub so it should be interesting can you go in a hot tub in the snow in the rain it's <laughs> hot enough hopefully it'll get some use we'll see we are planning to meet up with Cam and Shell and baby Leone who are also coming with us en route and then we'll be checking into our cabin we may stop for some lunch story's gonna need feeding soon but for now all is good in the car right we've just stopped at the local service station story's out did you change your nappy by the way well, that's sorted <laughs> you like to climb things now don't you story watch out there it's a slippery chair oh are you sleepy yeah, she'll have a nice sleep when we get back in the car. We're just taking the easy option. We're in Starbucks. I haven't been to a Starbucks in many years. And we're just going to sort out Story's banana and organic fruit puree. Story's very excited about this already. Do you want some organic fruit puree? <laughs> Alright, Story's having her banana and fruits. And we have these lovely oat pots whole grain, no, five grain oatmeals. Actually, it says it's suitable for vegans on it. There we go, let's focus on that. Right there. Maybe soy. What's it like? Oaty. Let's have a look. Now yeah, you're moving too fast. Oh, hang on, let me put the grains on, it'll look pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's looking better already. Hey, Story, are you going to try some of Mummy's oats? How's that? Mm, the hands are moving. <laughs> right, we're all done here now. Time for you to have a little nap, I think. We were planning to meet up with my brother here because he's also en route, but they've just told us that Leone is actually asleep right now. So they're just going to crack on and we'll probably meet them straight there at the cabin. That's okay with you, isn't it, Eden? Hmm? You're going to have to see Bex soon. Uh-oh, Bex. Ooh, tight squeeze. What a tight squeeze. This has turned out to be one hell of a beautiful drive. I'm really glad that it did snow. Most people were saying it might cause problems on the way up here, but in fact it made it one of the most impressive drives we've done in a very long time. Passing through the Cotswolds area, seeing everything blanketed in snow, winter sun setting, and the clouds have parted to give us quite a nice view leading towards the cabin in the Forest of Dean. We've never been to this part before. It's a new area in England for us to explore and I'm looking forward to seeing more of it outside of the car. Hello! Oh, well done! You made it! <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. I'm really glad that the weather is actually like this. 
Winter in England means shorter days, so it didn't take long for it to get very dark here. And we eventually met up with Kamel, Michelle and Leonie at the cabin, as predicted. We were only about half an hour away from each other. This is the first time we've seen each other for a while. We haven't seen Bex the dog in a long time either. Eden is always a little bit wary of Bex the first time she sees her in a while because Bex likes to bark and be noisy. The story seems to be at home already. <laughs> Crawling around on the floor. It's great for her to be with uncle and auntie again and lovely to see Story and cousin Leone meeting up again now that they're both a bit older. Funnily enough, even though Leone is six months old, just about almost seven months, and stories over a year, they're almost the same size. <laughs> Who's that? I couldn't tell who that was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not Eden. This is not Eden. <laughs> this cabin that we're staying in is absolutely beautiful. On the inside, it's like a modern show home. On the outside, it's all wood, and we can't wait to see what else is around here. Who's that noisy dog? Teaching shell this week. I've been discussing it Yeah? Everyone's just catching up downstairs, getting up to speed with each other's journeys. And now I think Sasha and I are going to cook some dinner. I'm currently sitting upstairs in our bedroom and I haven't shown any upstairs yet. Let's have a quick look at this. It's a very smart cabin. Lovely decor. Looks extremely comfortable. Another really good thing about moving into this cabin is we've got some space around us again so not all of us have to sleep in the same room. Story is going to go in a separate room because we have an extra room that didn't get taken. So we've got the baby monitor, we'll put her in there. And finally Sasha and I can have our own space again. Eden will still be in here with us, but it's just nice to have the normal setup, you know, us in our room, Story in hers. We just prefer it that way. Let's have a look. Oh, Eden's out here. This is our little landing. This is the bathroom for the upstairs. And this is where Story's going to be sleeping. She's going to have all this to herself in a travel cot. I have to set that up actually. You want to sleep in here with Story? Or with us? Hmm? I'll let you decide later. Everyone's just getting organised and putting their things where they're supposed to be. And Sasha and I are going to cook a lovely chapati dinner tonight for everybody. We've got all the stuff earlier, so I'm looking forward to that. Looks like Leonie's having a very awkward feed down there. <laughs> what a funny position. <laughs> she likes to lie back like that. Story's just playing with all her toys down there. Next to Auntie Shell. There you are. Hello. Well, I think Come on, let's go downstairs. We paid extra for a stair gate to be fitted on the top and the bottom of the stairs and also we paid for the internet package so we can upload these vlogs for everybody to watch. But I'm getting really hungry now so I'm going to put this camera down and start cooking. The roasted vegetables are in. They're about to come out. <laughs> We've made a palak paneer but it's a bit different this time because we forgot our food processor and a potato, Bombay potato curry. Just going to put some chapatis into the oven to make them nice and warm. And then dinner will be pretty much ready. I'm feeling really exhausted and really hungry right now. Dinner took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. So I'm looking forward to this. Story fell asleep pretty much straight away. She needed a few minutes, but now she's been sleeping soundly. Bex is fast asleep there on the sofa, looking very chilled out. Yeah. Mum and Kamau are playing a game of Scrabble. Who's winning? I don't know yet, because you have to add it up manually. <laughs> Nobody's got the math skills for that. Board is looking quite full. Someone needs to come this way. <laughs> yeah, I tried, tried to open things up here. It's not working. <laughs> this is actually a really nice place. I think I'll definitely stay here again. For anybody that's interested in how much it costs, because it looks like quite a pricey place. It was only 500 pounds for all of us to stay here for four nights. So if you were to fill up this house to its maximum capacity, with eight people, it's about 80 pounds a night. No, it's about £80 for four nights, which is amazing. So you get all of this for that, but we've come on a cheap week, so we thought we'd get, have a little getaway, a little family get together, and hopefully we have a nice time here. So that's just doing the last stages now. I can see the drinks on the table piling up. Oh, Shell's nearly fell over. <laughs> Eden nearly got crushed. 
Okay, the food is being served. Everyone's enjoying. Kamal's going old school. He's going to go with hands. Original way. Massive table we've got here. It's a really nice house, isn't it? How's it taste, Mum? Excellent. Yeah? Have you tried the other one as well, the Bombay no. potato? I'm going to try this one first. Oh, what's that one? <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got that one. Mm. So I just put that one in there for you. Yum. The good and beans. Right, I think that's enough vlogging for today. We're both feeling quite exhausted and we want to spend some time with family. Yeah. That's alright with you? I think it we is. We will do a proper house tour tomorrow because yep. it's dark and it was dark when we got here. You can't see out the windows, so we'll show you where we are tomorrow. Yeah, see it properly. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget you can buy an Eden and Story calendar by going to 8milesfromhome.com. Link in the description. And win seven nights in Portugal by clicking the link up here. There's my fanga. Here it is. Fanga? Fanga. <laughs> Jay's had a port. I've had, I've had more than one port, I must say. Okay, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. bye. And say bye everywhere. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs>